Hey everybody, welcome back to another painting tutorial on Tabletop Anarchy. Today I'm going to be showing you how I paint the Mustangs for Blood Red Skies. And for the Mustangs I will be painting George Preddy's plane. Uh, he was part of the 352nd Squadron. Um, so I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy it. When your model is ready to paint, uh, grab yourself a white primer and give it a quick coat of that. Normally I use grey, but for this uh, model in particular, white is the uh, best way to start this tutorial. The next step is to get some masking tape, and for this I use Tamiya's 2mm masking tape. It's a perfect thickness for what I needed, and as you can see by the pictures now, you just apply that uh, in three vertical lines down both wings and the rear of the plane. Once the masking tape has been applied, give your miniature another quick spray. Uh, this time I um, use a matte black. After sort of five, 10 minutes of it being sprayed, you know, start to dry, get yourself a sharp hobby knife or a pair of tweezers and start to take that masking tape off. It can be quite fiddly, but just be patient. Um, try not to obviously scratch the model, but at this point, if you do catch it with a knife, it's, um, you can always touch up with it after and you, you should be left with something looking like this. Once all the paint is dry from the previous coat, get yourself Viking Blue from Army Painter. Uh, this colour I used to paint the nose of the plane. And when I did this, I did have a, a reference picture of George Prentice's plane in front of me, just to make sure I was doing it right. So I do recommend, although you are following the tutorial, if you can, get yourself a reference photo. It does help a lot. Uh, the paint itself, in all of the, the paints in this tutorial, I have mixed a couple of drops of water in there just to improve their flow, except the metallic paint further on in the tutorial and I did apply two coats of this uh, being black underneath it did take a little bit more covering than normal so just stick two coats on it and it should end up looking like this the next step is to paint the canopy on the plane and for this I used Viking blue and matte white from army painter I mixed it roughly 50-50 to achieve this colour, um, but again, if you've got your own preferences on how you paint your own canopies, um, then this is the part where you uh, you put them colours on the uh, on the model. Uh, the next step is get the mask and tape back out and put two small vertical lines down the rear of the, uh, the tail wings. The next step is to apply the metallic to your model. Um, for this I use Shining Silver from Army Painter. Um, I applied that now everywhere really, apart from sort of the inside of your lines, leave the black stripes in your lines, but everywhere else that's black now, pretty much you start covering with the Shining Silver. You want to be quite careful at this point because if you if you overrun or you get paint when you don't want to, it is quite hard to cover metallic with some of the colours you've used. Um, so just take it extra steady, um, and yeah, just this is the one paint as well that I haven't thinned out. Um, so just watch out. Obviously, don't put too much on your brush because it is can be quite thick.
the metallic paint has been applied, now is the time to touch up any any of your paints now if you've um, overrun anywhere, just touch it up now. Um, and then I applied some gloss varnish where the decals are gonna be situated and I let that dry. The decals I got off eBay again for about three, four pounds. Um, they're quite good decals, but it is worth mentioning that Warlord are releasing their own decals for Blood Red Skies, uh, which will include sort of uh, certain squadron numbers, insignia and such, so it's well worth giving them a look out. Uh, I won't show you how I put the decals on. If you'd like to see me do that, go back to the Mitsubishi Zero tutorial. I go through in a bit more detail how the decals are applied. Um, and once they're applied, it's next to the next step. It's the last step now in painting your model. Uh, all you need to do now is put a quick wash on. As in the Mitsubishi Zero uh, video, at this point it is quite easy to overpower your model. So I used Quixier Dark Tone and their Mixing Medium, and I used it in a 20 to 80% ratio in favor of the Mixing Medium. It came out quite nicely with one coat. You can always stick another one on if you want to, um, but I think one looked good. And once you've done that, you've finished your model. That wraps it up for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helps. It was a real fun miniature to paint and I think the results look pretty good so it is well worth trying to give this a go. I've done six of these so they are gonna form some sort of squadron to take on the Mitsubishi Zeros in the Pacific. Uh, we'd love you to come and watch that and be a part of that. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If you like the channel, subscribe. And we hope to see you in the war room soon.